You know, you look back and, and now you go, oh my gosh, you know, I, I was in the presence of greatness. We're going to be really focusing today talking about the eras of Mike Gergich's long and illustrious career because we all know that he both was mentored by very significant icons in the wine industry and also mentored many of them. And I do remember one time going with my father to Beaulieu and seeing Mike and others all in their lab coats and see all this wizardry going on. My first meeting with Mike Gergich is when he was still working for Beaulieu Vineyards and my father and I were interviewing him to see if he would come and work with us at the little upstart Robert Mondavi Winery in 1968. We interviewed him because we wanted someone who had training under Andrei Chelichev, who was the great guru, if you will, of Napa Valley Cabernet. And Mike was so dedicated and passionate about trying to make a wine even better than the Georges de Latour BV Private Reserve. Uh, it just gives me goosebumps when I think about it, actually. Walking down this room today was just a uh, walk down memory lane. They would, they would talk about, okay, what makes a wine age? And, and Mike had his opinion, and Bob and Dobby had his opinion. And it was just amazing to hear how different they were, but how alike that they were, and how much they really, truly loved the Napa Valley. You know, wine is like a baby. It's like a precious baby. You must care for this baby all the time. Coming to America with my uncle's help was best thing that ever happened to me. So besides being great winemaker, uh, obviously he shaped my life. Educational in a, in a lot of ways. It was so early in our careers. I mean, I came from a surf world and boating and stuff and to learn, you know, just the farming and especially in the cellar, it was really a revolution for me. This incredible um, uh, sense of um, purpose, of care, of love was something that Mike uh, expressed to me as I was a young boy uh, growing up uh, in his shadow. I owe Mike everything and this wonderful life that I have here in Upper Valley.